Hi guys, welcome to the Maker's Notebook Podcast. I'm Tracy. And I'm Stacy. And you can find us on Instagram and Ravelry at the bottom of your screen. <laughs> Happy October, everyone. And it's um rainy. Oh. Rainy one. So we had to use we have actually outdoor lighting, so hopefully this records nice and clear. And we have some of those what do you call those? Those lights. I don't know. For recording anyway. So we have that going. So yeah. hopefully the video looks okay. Yeah, it should be fine. Um, it's been a dreary all week, it seems. Last week we had such great, beautiful weather, and then all of a sudden. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'm hoping the sun comes back out soon. It's Sunday. Like, Sunday. Sunday. Yeah. But then it's supposed to warm up. Ugh. It's like, I swear we're in fall. Why are we going up into the 80s? <laughs> We're ready, yeah. We're ready for fall. Yeah, I fall know. weather. I want to wear my nuts. I want but, to wear my socks. I want to wear my scarves. But you know what? The fall weather doesn't come around till end of October, no? True. True. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I should know this, but I forget every year. <laughs> uh, yeah, anyway. So um, today is Friday, October 8th. Yes. I think. So, um, I was debating if we should even podcast because I don't have a whole lot, but I'm thinking maybe it might be short, but then I was thinking, yeah, so we say, and then next thing you know, the thing is an hour long. Because <laughs> <laughs> we're like, da, 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 da. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So what's been going on? Oh, nothing much. Oh, but I guess, you know, as you know, as you probably know, we're coming from um, outside of Charlotte, north of Charlotte. And um, yeah, and thank you for everyone for commenting. And we always love reading the comments yes. and all this good stuff yeah. and liking and subscribing. Appreciate it. Thank you so much. Yeah. All right. So what's new with you? What's going on? Uh, same old same. Just knitting. I'm trying to find new projects to work on. Mm -hmm. um, my uh, husband and I decided to buy an RV. Ooh. They were bitten by the RV bug. <laughs> we were one of those people who just got bitten really bad. And, but this opportunity fell in our lap. So we we just had to run with it, right? Oh, yeah. So it's pretty big, but it's nice. Um, it's a solitude by Grand Design. And uh, we it works out great for us because it came with one and a half bath, which as um, everyone know when you have I know. teenage girls. <laughs> You, or close to teenage girls, you need that extra bathroom. So. What did we do without an extra bathroom? Like, you know, one bathroom was typical. I know for us growing up, right? There was yeah. one bathroom for like how many of us? Six of us? Was it? Four kids. Well, really, most of the time three. it was three kids plus parents. So yeah. that's five and one bathroom. Like, how did we even... The, the thought of it now is like, oh my God, you need at least one extra you do. Toilet. You do. You do. <laughs> At least one point five bath. <laughs> yeah, and that's. I knew. I. I mean, I know most RVs don't come at two bathrooms. I know that, and but some of them do come at one and a half. Mm -hmm. And I was pushing for that. I said, you when you have extra girls, yeah. you need it. And we saw that over the summer when we were traveling about. Yeah. And having that one bathroom was very frustrating. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. especially my older daughter. She would take long, she, well, she wasn't supposed to take long showers, but she would take showers and just take her time in there. And it's just like, hurry up. <laughs> <laughs> I know my son, he's 11 and he takes long showers too. Long, very long. I what think is he, it? No, they're just standing, gazing and thinking. I think so too. That's all it is. I think so too. Wasting water. Or they stand <laughs> staring, you know, in the mirror looking at their hair and it's like the water is running. It's like, hello. Yeah. So, yeah, but we're excited and, uh, you know, getting in, shopping for things and trying to remember, you know, not over shop and buy things that's too heavy or mm -hmm. things that you don't really need. Mm -hmm. So, but at the same time, you're getting excited. You're like, ooh, extra pillows. I'm eyeing Tracy's Ooh. color over here. What color? That. Oh, I'll show you guys that soon. <laughs> Oh my god. We'll talk about yarn soon. Oh boy. <laughs> so that's what's been going on with me. Not much. Um, you know, kids in school. We're looking at fall break next week. Can't wait. Fall break? 
Oh, yeah, nice. well, it was parent teacher conference, and then my uh, okay. my thirteen year old, she's taking the PSATs, mm -hmm. and then uh, after that, it's um, parent teacher conference. So this year they're doing it a little differently. Mm -hmm. They're gonna have it student led. Okay. I don't know why they're doing it differently this year. I mean, both my girls are moaning about it. They're like, I don't want to do this. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I guess you know you're gonna go sit in the classroom with the teacher and. Um, uh, maybe one or two other parents and uh, the students have to get up and make a presentation mm -hmm. about, you know, what are they learning mm -hmm. and um, what are the rules of the class and so forth. So, But it's only one class you go to. You don't, because, you know, they have four core classes and you just go to one. You don't okay. have to go to all four. Okay. So, yeah. Hmm. That's all that's going on. I what know. about you? The no. fun life of being a parent and with kids in school, not my... <laughs> My daughter just wrapped up her um, cheer season for football. Mm -hmm. She has a two-week break, and, oh, then nice. and then what basketball starts. That. Oh, but that's yeah. going to be a quick season, though. Okay. So. Yeah, yeah. Well, I was busy. I didn't get much knitting done as I would like because mm -hmm. we had people, you know, family visit, and then my son he started baseball, and I'm not really an outdoor knitter in public. I don't really do that. So anyway. Um, yeah, he's been having a couple games a week, and we're almost done. They were supposed to have a game today, but I think it because of the rain, I'm not sure if they'll just, they'll probably cancel it, and then I don't know if they're going to reschedule it. You don't I, play in the rain? Not baseball, no. Football, <laughs> they do. Yeah. My daughter had a chair in, in the rain. <laughs> yeah, no, no, no. Yeah. But anyway, you know, people babble. I know, um, I'd be like, if I'm, when I'm watching videos, I'm like, get to the F.O. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, guys. You you may not feel like that, but I know um, I do. You want to get to the FO? I want to see the projects. I'm nosy like that. <laughs> well, fast forward, everybody. <laughs> okay. Well, what do you want to start with? Okay. So um, I'm wearing my half and half triangles wrap um, by Pearl Soho for the Caddy Jacks Knit Along. Um, I used here the um, Pearl Soho Linen Quill, which was really nice to work with. And I, I honestly, I, I want to do another one, but the smaller version um, with different colors. And because it's just a therapeutic brainless mind, let's just pick it up is. and, you know, it knit is. and don't think about it. Um, this, I believe, is maybe purple smoke. Now, I could be wrong. <laughs> And then the other one is Crocus Bud. Um, it's, I used the US 3 needles called for in the pattern. Um, and three skeins of yarn for each triangle. And this is what I have left, oh, wow. about 50 grams. <laughs> um, I think, no, I measured it. I think um, 50 ounces left, 50 grams, I don't know. Um, I bought my scale to, to verify. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. So, like, 40-something grams on this one and then, like, 60 grams on this one. So, I just say about 50. Um, but it's a huge... I'm going to flash a pic... I'll, you know, show video here of um, the whole spread. But I did do um, the... I cord where you slip three stitches at the end in front. And then I replace the um, wrapping turns with German short rows because I just prefer to do that. I was watching Edible Thought Makes, and man, hers is nice too. You guys should check it out. Yeah. And uh, she also did the same thing. She used German short rows, and um, hers look really good. I my bind off. I just did a regular stretchy bind off, but when I was watching her video, she was saying she did an I cord bind off. I'm like, do Oh. I didn't think about that. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I know. Anyway, um, it's pretty substantial. And so... Did you block it? So that's the thing. I plan... I'm not going to block it. It's too big. Not... Well, I shouldn't say I'm not going to block it. I'm not going to block it right now. <laughs> when it gets dirty, I'm going to have to block it. But um, yeah, for right now, it's just too big. I mean, I don't even have anywhere where I could block this thing. I don't think it needs it. It's just, yeah. you know. Yeah, you don't need to. Yeah. It looks nice. But it's it a nice really blanket. Nice. And uh, I could see, you know, using this on porch time or mm. fire pit time. 
mm-hmm. or now mountain and, time, mountain time, or watching TV time. <laughs> All the times. <laughs> um, yeah, I would like to knit another one, though. And I'm trying to debate what to do with the rest of this. I know Edible Thought makes um, had said she plans to collect these and make a sweater. Mm. So, like a stripy sweater. So, that's a nice idea, too. Um, but, I don't, yeah, I don't know. We'll see. Very nice. Yeah. Very nice. It looks good. Yeah. It's nice and big, too. It's huge, and as you can see in, you know, as you can see, it's... It's huge. <laughs> it feels nice. It is. It, it, it's not honestly, itchy, right? Yeah, and honestly, you can't even tell it needs to be blocked anyway. No, you want. I don't think blocking is gonna make a difference on yeah. this. Honestly, yeah. it looks really good though. Yeah, is it? Um, I have to check to see if it's a super wash. But anyway, it's fifty percent Highland wool, thirty-five percent alpaca, fifteen percent linen, and it's a fingering weight. Oh, so yeah, that's why it's a. For Evs to do. <laughs> do you have the, the, the thing here? It just says hand wash cold, lay flat to dry. So, tell you what it is. yeah, you can't, I don't think you could machine wash. It's not super wash. So, yeah, Tracy started hers. Um, she'll, she'll, she'll talk about hers, but I plan to submit this. I'm try, I need to take pictures ASAP. Because I believe the um, Caddy Jacks knit along. I think the, the, there's a deadline to enter these. Is it today? When is Rhinebeck? I haven't been following. Yeah, it's right before Rhinebeck. But anyway, I probably should throw a picture up there real quick. Because the prizes are really good. I mean, yeah, you should. You know, it's probably a lot of people doing this. So the pool is probably. But hey, yeah, you deep. never know. The pool is deep. You never I know. know. And then she'll text me, guess what? <laughs> Hey, you know, one. <laughs> yeah, one can hope and wish. But anyway, um, so that's my one of my FOs. What about you? I am. I'm gonna run and get some soft blockers. Okay. Okay. Keep talking. Keep talking. Keep talking. I uh, signed up to do the um, Hohi Fall cap. <laughs> you have to come back. <laughs> I'm doing the um, the Hohi Fall knit along um, the cow. And um, I went with the three color cashmere cow that uh, she has, and um, I finished it finally. It, it was a fast knit. Can you see? I should put it on. Sorry, that's the back side. <laughs> so uh, this the yarn is by Isagar. Isagar is that how I'm saying it right? Isagar, 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 Isagar alpaca too. And um, guys, you're gonna have to forgive me about the colors, um, because on the on the on the um, the tag it says O E and E S. I have no idea what those mean. And um, this color, it's like a burnt orange. I, they didn't really give you a color on there. So, um, but this is so soft. Um, the needle I used. Uh, why did I put a size one? No, I didn't use a size one. I think I used a size four. And went up two sides because I'm such a tight knitter. Oh, nice. So I went up. So it worked out. Yeah, it worked mm-hmm. out great. So I use a size four needle since I'm a tight knitter. And uh, I just got to block it. I haven't had a chance to. So I just took it off the needle a couple of days ago. I like cows. They're so easy yeah. to wear and you don't have to worry about them like falling all over the place. Yeah. Yeah. And managing it, right? Yes. You could do things with it on. Yes. Not a problem. So you can wear this and just throw it on and go. So, I love it. I love the colors and so forth. Uh, part of, I mean, I hope it matches my coat, if not, who cares? I love it. What color is your coat? Like a burgundy. Wine color. Mm-hmm. I should have gotten the same wine. Eh, I think it's fine. Yeah, uh, this is what's supposed to be. You don't have to be matchy, matchy. Because <laughs> I, got, I got this yarn at Make and Stitch in um, Colorado. Oh, nice. Yeah. You're wearing some. That's so cool. You're yeah. wearing some of your. Yeah, and I told them what I was going to make with it, and they're like, oh, that'll be perfect. So, I love it. I didn't make any modifications. Um, I was talking to Katuska on, um, on text, and she was saying, she's working on the same thing. And she was saying, uh, for right here, her holes were really big. Mm-hmm. And because um, of the yarn overs, mm-hmm. uh, mine was big, but I don't think mine was as big as hers. I don't mm-hmm. know. But that's how big mine came out. Yeah. But then again, I'm a tight knitter, so. 
Yeah. Just be mindful of that if you are a loose knitter. I do have that in my Q. one day to knit. <laughs> Q. I do have the shoulder, the three color cashmere shawl. I did a long time ago. Oh yeah. One of my first knits. Yeah. Yeah. I love her patterns. They're like so easy. Mm -hmm. Um I like again, I didn't make any modifications. She said that how when um that line of demarcation right here. Mm -hmm. you see it? I, she said she gave a um a solution for it. The jugless join is it called a jugless join? I forgot what it's called, but she said that how, you know, when on the second row it just slipped that first. Yeah, stitch. so it doesn't look like Yeah. So I did it for when I switch colors and you don't see it, but when I do this, I saw it more. And I try not to pull on it. I was very gentle with it. Yeah. And it still happened for me compared to the you know, yeah. The other parts. And maybe that you can't really notice. Well, a little bit. A little bit, maybe because it's just one or two rows. Mm -hmm. But anyway, so I don't know. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. So it'll just go in the back of my neck. Her hair is going to cover it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I just need to block that. So that's all I have for finished objects. That's all I've been working on because that's all I've had time for. So. Yeah, because Hohi Fall Cal, it's shorter this year. It used to be through November, right? At least, right? And now it's only to the end, end of, of October. October. So maybe she find that a lot of people were finishing stuff early. I don't know. Yeah, I don't really know why. Before the holidays? I don't know. Yeah. So anyway, um next FO for me, my last one, is the Flora socks also for the Hohi Fall Cow. Um I used here the Hue Loco yarn, which I can't find a ball and four because i had skinned it up for another project and just not, didn't end up using it i still have a good bit of yarn left of this actually oh, so you gonna make a shorty i can make something with it for sure yeah um but i just i was drawn to this because of this um cabling it almost and then this ca there's some cabling going around it mm -hmm. in fact and then the um the little yarn overs there which create these holes which i love it and i'm thinking i can i was totally inspired to knit another sock without um without a pattern and just make up my own using some of this you should right because i just love this effect i yeah. really do you should anyway um it's a heel flap and gusset um cuff down obviously and I love the no um, ribbing up here. Well, this is considered a ribbing. Oh. From here to here, it's considered a ribbing. Oh. Yeah, it's, it's a shorty. It's pretty cool, you actually. Well, the traditional ribbing. I yeah, think. it's not a traditional ribbing, but this it's a modified ribbing with this design yeah. element. So, I like that. Yeah, yeah. And I love this Hue Loco yarn. Yes, it's gorgeous. And, and, and the only reason why I used it for these socks is because I had it wound for so long, and I was like, I can't have this sitting like i just it. gotta use it for something so maybe i can use the rest of it for maybe another maybe a cowl or some other project and that's really getting your money's worth yeah <laughs> when you do that yeah um i didn't do any modifications so yeah and here's the other side i'm done um with that so this is um i signed up for two projects with hohi boat socks so this is the first one complete Nice. And that's Very it. Very nice. That's all we have for finish objects. Finish objects. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I've been a slow knitter. Yeah, with just busy. What's been, yeah, busy? Fall schedule is usually busy with so many activities going yeah. on in the area yeah. and just at school and yeah. just in general. Yeah. I'm trying to, every weekend you're like, oh, more stuff to do. I know. I think since moving here in the house, um, I've been busy. Really? At the apartment, I felt like I wasn't busy enough and I was just, there was nothing to do and I was sitting a lot and I started to feel unhealthy. <laughs> I started walking every day for like an hour and then working out for another hour. But since moving here, um, it's always something to do. Something to do and clean or whatever. Yeah, maintaining so, your house. Yeah, and then visitors coming and stuff like that. And then Ian had his birthday and I don't know, it was just like a lot of stuff. Yeah, yeah, it's always something going on. Yeah. It's crazy. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Yeah. So, um, 
Okay. You want to jump into whips? whips? Yeah. Which I don't have a lot of either. I don't either. I mean, I have a lot, but what I've been working on, I'm not going to show stuff I haven't been working on or haven't made too much progress on because it doesn't even make oh, sense. Oh, that's me too. <laughs> I, I was, my, all my energy was spent working on that cow, got yeah. that done, and then now it's like it's going into this um, half and half triangle shawl. So do you have another Hohe? Um, did you sign up for another Hohe no, project? Didn't, this though. is just the only one, yeah, right? Yeah, Oh, that's good. Have. So was, you're all done. No, yeah. you're all done. That's good. I wanted to, I should have signed up for a second one, but I was just like, yeah. I always have these in my head to do. Yeah. And then when I, when it's time to do it, I forget. It's not enough time anyway. You know? So, yeah. anyway, I'm working on the triangle, the half and half triangle show by Pearl Soul. Oh, look at her color. And I'm knitting the size small. Smart. <laughs> well, I saw how big yours was and I just wanted to be, um, you know, have be a little different. With it in terms of um, size to see the contrast. Yeah. Because I might make a large one once I'm done with this. Mm -hmm. But this is my contrast color. And uh, this is uh, peachy pink. And this one is honey pink. And those are the pearl soho, right? This is pearls, yes. Yeah. Linen quill. Linen quill. Yeah. Oh, okay. And I like uh, this color. Isn't it nice? It looks almost like the nutmeg color, right? Doesn't it? I don't know. Maybe it's mine. It's a little lighter, right? It's a yeah. little lighter. But it's peachy. And, you know... Children, do not stop in the middle of a row. <laughs> Excuse me. Do not stop in the middle of a row like I did, because I can't show you everything. <laughs> I'm so sorry about that. But essentially, it's the try. Uh, oh, let me just finish it real quick while I talk. Okay. <laughs> show your own while I finish this real quick. I only have one whip. Well, no, one whip I can show you because the others. I haven't made any progress. Like I only. Knit the cuff, oh, so I'm not. This. I'm not going to show you that, right? This but, looks like candy. <laughs> is it candy? I don't know. It looks like it. Well, I finally, oh. I finally started Earth and Air by James and Watts using um the ma the cream color that you see here is the Malabrigo yarn washed, which is a worsted 100% superwash in the color natural. And then the pinky color you see in here is the Autumn and Indigo Surrey Silk, um, which is 74% Surrey Alpaca, 26% Silk in the color Old World. Um, needles I'm using, US 10.5. Um, it's brioche, wow. bottom up. It's a top, right? Um, the thing about this, once you, so it's bottom up, when you get to split for the sleeves, um, and then to work, you work the front separately and then you put them to hold on, you put those stitches to hold, right? Like that. Mm -hmm. Wow, you're fast. No, it's a fast neck because it's worsted. And then now I'm working on the back. I'll turn it around. But you see why it's a little, oh. Anyway, I'm working on the back right now, and then I will split, split off for the shoulder. Once I get to a certain point, then you work on just the shoulders for the back. And then I guess you see, you, I, I haven't read ahead in the pattern, but I'm assuming you'll have to seam the shoulders together mm -hmm. and then work the sleeves. Right. Um, it, it doesn't call for a lot of yarn. I, have only, I only have to, I think I'm not even going to use all of the two skeins of the washed um, and then I only have one skein of the apaca, which I think I will make it to make the sleeves and everything. The short sleeves? No, uh, I think it's three quarter. I think it's three. I think you could do long sleeves or three quarter sleeves. So nice. But the oh. annoying part for me at this point is all these cables, stitches on hold, and using these cables. Oh. It just seems like. Uh. <laughs> but it's brioche, and I'm, I'm knitting the size medium. Um, I did not remember the dilemma of not gauge swatching for this, but I did, when I get to a good point, I was able to um, count my stitches to make sure I'm on track with the gauge, and it did measure out just fine, pre-blocked. Oh, nice. That's right. Pre-blocked. Wow. So, um, but I did notice something. So, working in the round, my stitches are more formed, you know, more... And then as I got to working um, back and forth, 
not in the round, right? My my stitches up here are a little looser. So did you change the size? No, and I'm not going back on this. <laughs> It'll be what it is. Um, That's something I would do. Yeah, but you know, I mean, it's a well written pattern. Um, if you're, I, it's a nice brioche project, and I'm, I even have eyes on um Hohi's brioche sweater. Oh my gosh, yeah. I'm like, I might. I might tackle that one. Yeah. Next. So anyway. That's nice. Um, yeah. Very nice. I think I will, if I was to sit down and focus, does it feel itchy? Yeah, to me. Really? That's just me though. That's just me. I don't like anything itchy on my neck, like you, on my back. No, it just won't be on my neck. Because I think it comes like, yeah, yeah it doesn't. Even still right here. Really? I don't like anything itchy. Oh, Tracy would not be knitting this. <laughs> but um, I guess you can use like lace, whatever, lace weight. Well, if you wear a tank top underneath it, obviously, right? I mean, yeah, I plan to wear something under there. Yeah. yeah. I won't wear it. But apparently I was reading and people were saying that it keeps you warm. So now would you need that down here? No, probably. Well, you could probably wear it. So yes, you can wear it down here in the dead of winter. Uh, with no jacket. With probably no jacket or a light jacket. Probably. Yeah. But it's not something you could probably wear all the time. Because I mean, well, wear this to the mountains. Or the mountains. But um, yeah, because it doesn't get, it's not till like November, December, January, February, four months of cold hair. Mm -hmm. And cold could be 30s, 40s, you know, that cold. Not teens. Only. Yeah. Rarely teens. Yeah. I think that happened one time. Once or twice, yeah. Since I've been here, and we've been here five years. Yeah. So, um, earth and air. It's beautiful. I love the colors. The color contrast. Yeah. It's nice. Yeah. I wanted to, you know, and I really liked the top um, when I saw it. Saw it, it. She did. Yeah, it's really not. I liked it. I don't know. We'll see. And then we'll see how it blocks out. I'll really have to watch the blocking situation. Make sure it doesn't stretch out more than this. Right, because um, anyways. Oh my gosh, just thinking of blocking that alone is like, ah. yeah. Hey, is that my sweater? Oh yeah. You just noticed that? Yeah. <laughs> I showed this last time. That's the Stacey till. blocked it for me. The till. <gasps> oh, I can't wait to wear it. So I plan to knit the tills, and are you still have whips? Uh, not really. I have um just I, I finished this row so y'all can see how it looks. And I did not do the slip three at the end because yeah. you know by the time I figured out that you, you know that was an option, you could do it. I was yeah. just like I'm not going back. So so you cast on all the stitches yes. and then you work you know you work upwards and it gets smaller, yes. right? And then when you get to the end now, then you start the other color and it starts off wide and then it gets. No, gotcha. Okay. So it's like a big square. Yeah. But gotcha. half of, you know, diagonally half of it is one color and the other half is another. another. So I'm up to here, my, of the, what you call it? The, 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 I did, I did, I did. Where's, the your, where's your short row? Right here. You, did you do German? No, no, I did the regular, what the pattern called for. Uh, okay. That didn't bother me. So. so she's up to here, so she has still um, all of this to go. All of this to work from here to here. Yeah. To do short rows. Yeah. I did not do the other one. I, I mean, I, this one doesn't bother me. I like it. It's so therapeutic, and, you know, I do it, I knit when I'm in carpool because mm -hmm. I don't have to think much about it. Just yeah, you just pick up and go. go. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So, but I can't wait to add this one on. Yeah. And, you know, but like I say, if let me see how big it turns out, and if it's, you know, if it's you know I want it bigger, I could just make another one. Because I, I heard people making two and three of them. Yeah, I was thinking of making one in the, in the nutmeg color, and then maybe the yeah. black heathered color. Oh, I like nice the dark navy, you know. But I don't think Linen Cool have that color, the dark navy and a cream color together. Mm -hmm. I saw that on East Face Trico. Mm -hmm. That's what they did. I love that combination. But uh, there's uh, other combos. Yeah. Did you hear about them? They sold their shop. No, they didn't. Really? Yeah, to the two girls who work there. No way. To two people who, I guess, they work for 
Espas Trico. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And so Melissa is Melissa and Lisa. Yeah. So Melissa is going to be dyeing yarn with somebody else. I, I forget the person's name. And then Lisa is doing something else. Like Melissa is the the Trinidad. Trinidad. Yeah. And Lisa is the t- former school teacher. Yeah. So Lisa is. Um, oh, so they sold it, huh? Yeah, it was so sad, actually. Yeah, I, mean, I don't know. I haven't, you guys, I haven't been on social media for the last few weeks. Yeah. I'm trying to, I'm trying to just take a little mini detox. Allie Edwards did that, right? And I said, you know what? That's a great idea. She took a month. She said she's taking a month mm-hmm. off. Mm-hmm. Said, Let me take a couple of weeks off and see how I feel. And I'm like, Gosh, mm-hmm. I love it. I mean, I love social media to see all the yarn yeah. and keep up with all the yarn shops and look at different recipes. <laughs> but then it's like, sometimes it's like all these little things sneak in there and it's just... It's a rabbit hole for sure. It is. So, anyway. I'm being nosy because our neighbors across the street... Are they there? No, they're building a house. The house is almost done, by the way. But... Um, they're getting one of those fiberglass pools and I think the pool people... Pool people, I'm nosy. I'm the nosy neighbor. The pool people um, are coming to maybe, I don't know, do something before the pool is delivered. Anyway, no, that doesn't make sense. The pool is not being delivered till next year. I don't know. Next year? Yeah. COVID. Supply issues. Yeah. Everywhere you turn supply yeah. chain issues. Yeah. Everywhere. Yeah. Yeah. Like furniture, we've been looking and man, yeah. We wanted to get something in time for Christmas, but. It's not going to happen. No, the lead times are crazy. Yeah. It's I, like, till, not till next year. I'm still waiting for stools that I ordered back in early April. Yeah, since April. And they haven't come yet. Because they're probably in the Suez Canal somewhere. <laughs> Sitting in California. So I think the coast of California. Yeah, I think the California. Uh, nobody to work. I mean, I don't know. I don't know either. I think we need some robots to take over. <laughs> take over for those who don't want to work. We do. But then you're seeing shortages at grocery stores and certain things on the shelves are empty. It's like, ooh, this is real, y'all. This is real. I know, it's kind of scary, right? Like, it makes you, like, just not thinking about that. I'm thinking, oh, maybe I should start growing my food. That's what I've been <laughs> practicing trying to do, just in case. I do see a lot of vegetables. It's the... It's the... Certain, canned. Canned thing. Like, the things that you need. Not sodas I'm talking about, okay? Yeah. I'm talking about, like, rice and flour and those type of things. Like at Whole Foods, the coconut milk yeah. has not been available for like two weeks. <laughs> yeah. I know, Yogurt. very trivial, I know, yeah. but still. It's well, coconut it, milk it could bleed into other things though. So yeah. it's like, you know, what are you going, you know? I, uh, I hope we come out of this soon. Yeah. yeah. Anyway. Yeah. So. Anyway, we digress. Yeah. But she was looking at her neighbor's house. <laughs> Nosy. Anyway, um, the only other thing I have as far as whip is the ranunculus, which I did not work on since we last podcast, so I'm not going to show it here. Um, I started the caramel sauce socks by Hohi Locatelli. Um, that's my second for the Hohi cow. And I, once I finish this earth and air, because I just want to get it off the needles, I think I'm just going to focus on those socks. Mm-hmm. But man, I have a bunch of socks lined up. But I, I'm not going to show too much this project because I really haven't made any headway with, with it. But I'm using this nutmeg color by um, West Yorkshire Spinners. Um, I believe I got it from the Woolly Thistle. Okay. But anyway. Um, I like the yarns. I'm just on the cuff, people. So that's it. Um, she made great progress. No progress. So <laughs> hopefully I'll have something to show for that very soon. Mm. Do you have anything else? Mm-mm. I have some socks I was working on, Saturday socks by Tracy Miller, and um, I think I must have just knitted three or four rows since the last time we podcast. Mm. So, I plan to knit the tilde, which was what Tracy just showed, with this. Um, That's a great color! Kira by Miss Babs in the color Oz. Oh, that's now, color is beautiful. The funny thing is that... Um, I'm into green these days. Yeah. Sharon Williams came up with the color of the year called yes. Evergreen Fog. <gasps> and then I'm, I think I'm going to paint the laundry room in that color. Oh, that'll be stunning. Right? Because yeah. it has all the right colors to complement it. Yeah, that's how I yeah. yeah. And so um, one of my favorite 
designers out there, Jen, Jen Stouffer Design. Do you follow her? I think so. I think you. you really follow, I think I follow her on Instagram. She's a Michigan. She's a Michigan. Anyway, I'm like this lady. I mean, her style is very classic. It's not anything trendy. It's modern classic, which I think that's I like my. That. I that's your that. style. Mm -hmm. I don't like anything trendy. Yeah, that's my design style. Is yeah. modern classic, mm -hmm. and so um, I'm loving like green. So hence the green sweater. I was inspired to get, and this is totally out of my color zone, right? It is, but it's gorgeous. Yeah. So anyway, Kira. Kira is so easy and fun to knit and yeah. quick. And I, I'm like really considering making a second one. And it's a nice fit, the way it fits you. It's really nice. Yeah, it's nice. So once I finish this earth and air, I'm going to finish up Rhinunculus. And then I think in the midst of all that, I'm going to swatch and get this going. And hopefully have something to show you uh, next, next, next month. Wow, November already. And I don't, we went to the um, Charlotte Yarn Crawl and um, we didn't do all of the stores. We did Charlotte Yarn. Um, which I didn't get too. I didn't get, didn't too, get much. too much. Too um, much because, um, well, partly because um, I bought a lot of yarn over the summer. <laughs> that was part of my reason, and um, we had so much going on that we didn't really have time to be at the stores much. Yeah. So that also took away from us shopping like we wanted to. So um, she got. Did you get any? What did you buy? Yeah, but I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna show it that. But yeah. you can show yours. Yeah. So I just got these because Christmas is coming, and you know I gotta get going on gifts. Those colors are beautiful. Yeah. yeah. Native fibers and yarn. I was. This is what I was gawking at. This yeah. one. I was like, Tracy, what is that? Dude, it's like ice cream. It is right. Yeah. Oh my gosh. But then the one that really, I mean, Charlotte yarn is phenomenal. Don't get me wrong. But the one that I was really couldn't wait to get to was um Hearts on Fiber because they came up. The mother and daughter's team came up with um, this wonderful idea of dyeing yarn based on the colors of the shops in the town of Davidson. Yes, yes. And some of these stores have been there for a long time, and some who haven't, but still, they, it's what makes the town so charming. And they went dyeing like a collection of yarn based on these shops, so like Davidson College, mm -hmm. um, you know. Their colors are like really nice and red, like moody. vibrant. Yeah. Yeah. Or this Davidson wine, wine right? Yeah, Davidson that was wine. a nice moody color. Yeah. So I had a hard time deciding. It was very hard. You want all of them. All of them. And it was a brilliant idea what they did. And I said it's a genius idea. So what they were doing was that they were they had some to sell, but if you know the color you wanted was sold out, they're gonna pre order. Pre order it. Mm -hmm. So I guess once they get all these orders in and dye it up, they're going to open it again where you can order it. You can order it, yeah. You should be able to order it online. Yeah. yeah. But anyway, I, in the end, I decided on the Village Store. The Village Store is a very cute store. You can go there to get souvenirs if you're ever Gifts, in the area. Gifts. Yeah, yeah, it's very cute. It's some of everything in that store minus food. It's lo And a lot of local things. Yeah. Yeah, yeah locally handmade stuff, you know. Yeah. Whatever. It's probably pretty popular. Everybody knows the village store. When you talk about Davidson Village, everybody's like, oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So it's a staple. And just the front of the store is this color mm -hmm. with accented with this. Mm -hmm. And then I also got Moxie Mercantile. Moxie Mercantile, I went in there. Did you ever go in there? I did once a, long, a while ago, and it was just cute. It's a cute little shop. And they have like um, jewelry, like really unique jewelry. They Clothing. even sell rifle paper things. Yes. yes. Um, candles, phenomenal candles. Yes. Yeah. And a couple pieces of clothing and stuff like clothing that. Clothing and little house. They stuff. have several different locations. Oh, really? Yeah. They have one in um, a Matthews, mm -hmm. which is right outside of Charlotte. Mm -hmm. And then they have one, I believe it's in Charlotte. Okay. Yeah. So this oh, is I the third location. Yeah. Yeah. So, but anyway, I got this one because again, I was having a hard time deciding because that, that Davidson color. wine color, that Davidson wine company was nice. So many good colors. It was really hard to choose. Yeah. So. And um, so I've been obsessed with yarns from different places. So I also was very excited about this, um, you know, hearts on fiber. And I got the pickled peach, which is um, a lovely little eatery with, Burrata salads, <laughs> teas, and you have a little shop, a um, grocery shop. Pastries. It's really cute, unique, very boutique -y. Yeah. You know, kind Soups of. Soups like, and pastries are so soups, good. Pa yeah, pastry. Oh, the pastries are 
Yummy. When the kids are in school, we normally sneak over for lunch. <laughs> yeah, we love it. So anyway, that's Pickle Peach. And then Main Street Books, which is another, th I uh, love the bookstore. You it's know. A, I love independent small mom and pop bookstores. Yeah, and that's their color. So I was, I mean, I wanted all of these too, but... I mean, yeah, I think eventually I'll probably collect all of them and just have a box of socks full of Davidson, right? Wouldn't yeah. that be very cute? Yeah, the town of Davidson. Yeah. I told them, I said, brilliant, genius idea. <laughs> love it, love it, yeah. love it. Yeah. So, yeah. And then the other thing, I'm obs like I said, I'm obsessed with places. Um, as colors died based on the theme of places. So this is Woolberry. Oh my and gosh. she had a pre-order. This is the Golden Gate oh my Bridge. Gosh. I told I sent you the link and I told you they were having she was having the places you visited on your yes, you RV. Did. And I totally I was to go back to it and I got it got buried. They had yeah, yeah, the parks you went to, they had them. Anyway, this is the Golden Gate Bridge because I lived in California for a while. And so like I wanted, I don't know, I just wanted that memorabilia of that. Isn't the color mm. spectacular? And then this one is Lake Tahoe, which we absolutely love. Lake Tahoe. Stunning. And that's that. Stunning. Stunning. Just stunning. Yeah. This is my first Woolberry fiber purchase. Um, yeah, we tend not to always show, but because this has a team of places, um, I think it would have been cool to just show oh, you guys. Yeah. And go ahead. Exploring this is having um, a national park series for her um for her yarns based on the national parks and oh my gosh it's like every time i try to go order stuff is sold out i, li I like that i want the park ones right i yeah. want to get yosemite next yeah. and stuff like that i want to get grand tetons i'm waiting for that all one. the ones you visited yeah, yeah. anyway I, I went nuts so anyway mustache yarn she had her Camp Cow National Park collection, and I got the Great Smoky Mountain. Mm. So I have it wound here, ready to start, because I'm oops, I can't wait to start this thing. Wow! I'm thinking of doing using um, the sock. Um, what's the one by Denise? Sock exploration. Sock exploration heel pattern. I'm the only the reason why I haven't started though is because I'm trying to determine if I want a pattern in this. I mean, maybe I can um, start it and then just maybe have like a little. It'll be vanilla, except for maybe a, maybe one of the, maybe this kind of stripe, this holy fat going on a, down on each side of the sock, maybe? Yeah. Just to add a little interest, right? Yeah. Um, so I might do that. Okay. So anyway. Um, oh, that'll be nice. But yeah, Great Smoky Mountains. We went up there over the summer and uh, yeah, I'm all about the places. Yes. Yes, yes, so. yes, yes, yes. So next year we're going to be going to Michigan, so. I can't wait because there's a lot of national parks in, um, in Michigan. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Um, there's a lot of national parks and um, I'm missing one of the forest to a ton. Okay. My husband has been doing a lot of research mm -hmm. and uh, he's trying, he's, he's good at that stuff. So, and some of the views are just absolutely stunning. And some of the, like, you don't think of Michigan because I never thought of it like, oh my gosh, that's the place I want to go. And I've always heard people talk about it, mm -hmm. but I never really said, oh, that's the place I want to go. But after seeing pictures and videos of it, it's yeah. like, wait a minute. <laughs> I want to go visit Jen Stofa Design. She's there in She's Michigan. There in Michigan. Her oh shop, her store, yeah. I'm telling you, Michigan, because they went through their change, it's just like, it's coming back and it looks amazing. Yeah. Like a lot of people stuck around and, you know, they have a lot of good food, especially on the lake, you know, the, yeah. um, Lake Superior and all that stuff. It looks stunning. So it's okay. something to definitely check out. Hearing a beeping noise. So I was like, where is that coming from? Is it a truck outside? Maybe it's outside, yeah. It's so trailer. I know. And then, I don't know. Um, I haven't started reading this, so I can't tell you how it is. But um, well, a family member was here and recommended this book. Um, oh, what kind of people? It's about... Um, I think the author is somebody, he's um, a national attorney and commentator on race and politics in America. Um, he contributes to the U.S. News and World Report. And um, anyway, he has a bunch of stuff. Um, Lawrence Graham, and he talks about affluent. He interviewed like a bunch of um, affluent black people. And so, 
I'm curious to to see like how they operate in those circles. Um, I'm just being nosy as usual. But you you said there's a society in here, Jack and Jill. There's a Jack and Jill society. Yeah. That's it's a membership. You're telling me, right? Right. Well, uh, somebody was uh, um, my husband's former employer from years and years ago was trying to recruit us to join the organization, and their membership fee is pretty steep. But um, it's there's certain requirements they want you to have, and uh, it's very like you say, it's a very affluent people of color, and uh, it's, um, I didn't look into it, I mean, at the time, yeah. we had a talk, an infant and we're like, yeah, we got time for that, but um, for that. apparently, I mean, there's, I guess there's, the story is going to go back to pe rich people, that, I mean, black people that was back in the 18, 1900s, right, and so, I mean, he actually shows like real pictures of some yeah. of these like, yeah. people and stuff like that. Yeah. You had to have make a certain amount of money yeah. and you had to get, they, they did a lot of um, volunteer work as well. And um, there was a lot of cotillions and fancy things to get dressed up. And it's like a coming of age of young, for young people. So mm -hmm. if you had a daughter who was mm -hmm. 16 or a son, mm -hmm. they always did these big cotillions like things, mm -hmm. events. So, it, I mean, it's very involved and very active. Mm -hmm. So I've never been to any of them, but I've heard a lot about it. Yeah. I can't, yeah, I can't wait to see, see uh, another perspective, I guess. Yeah, it's my know. nosy, my nosiness. Let me know how you <laughs> like it. Yeah, but there's a chapter here. I don't know, I'm pretty sure there are other um, organizations here as well. Yeah. That's part of that group. But I know of the Jack and Jill one. Okay. So what else? Are you doing anything else? Any other hobbies uh, you're delving into? Just trying to figure out what um, journal I want to get for my project life, um, I Stacy keeps sending me these different options, and they're all fantastic. Um, my only concern with one of them she sent me was the binding, and um, there was this other one, the Hop Hobonichi, Hobonichi, Hobonichi. Yeah. Hobonichi. Love that one. Um, I, I, I'm worried about the binding because as you know, the year goes on, with the book get really thick. It'll get thick, but, but the binding is pretty good. Place. It's the binding is darn good. So yeah. I took too long to make a decision. I mean, I guess I could still order it. It's coming from overseas, right? Um, I think it's right now. It might be hard to find. I mean, it yeah, might have to search. But um, you could take a look at mine and see if it'll even work for you. That's um, my concern. Yeah, you can take it. I have it upstairs. You can. Oh, look you got at it. it. Yeah, you can look at it. So that was my concern. We we like the happy planner format. I do. But there's some things I don't like about it. I don't like the paper. It's a bit flimsy. Flimsy. I don't like the discs because I just don't like the discs. I think they're not secure enough for me. Um, I think in a few years, after some kids keep turning, it's not going to... It's not going to hold up to that. Um, I think, yeah, and then I would like to be able to um, expand on it, right? Like you can add plastics and a pic, you know, just to personalize it a little bit more. Yeah. So also, too, in terms of it, to your point about it being flimsy, when you put it on the shelf, you know, yeah, it's it's gonna to me, it's gonna buckle a little, and that's my concern. It's not yeah. gonna stand up straight unless you have all these other books to hold it up. Yeah, yeah, and which is fine, but at the same time, it's just gonna look flimsy. And how I'll have to pull them. I'll have to see what year. <laughs> and so I thought of maybe you cut off the where the disc go, that mm -hmm. perforated perforation, you mm -hmm. cut it off. But it's that wouldn't work either because when you make the hole punch into it, you're gonna be eating into the Pages. daily spreads. The pay, yeah. So you're not gonna be able to put pictures in certain yeah. it's just yeah. yeah. So <laughs> trying to find something. So I'm trying to convince her to create something for us. Yeah, she's, she's I been need, so busy, and I get, yeah. it, I get and it. I need to learn Illustrator because um, you need like a um, a graphic design software to create that stuff. Um, yeah, and you need time. You need to treat that thing like a full time job and just sit there and create it. Like I'm going to work at nine, and I'm working on that, and I'm getting off at two. And yeah, yeah, yeah I can't be doing anything else. Yeah, because it's yeah that. But I think once you get going with that, it's uh, it'll be something nice. It's just to get, yeah. 
I, I can totally hand make it. Do it. No, I'll take that. <laughs> no, uh, but in all reality, all honesty, I'll take it. I don't care. I just want something that'll be nice. And I love the dated part, like you said, on the um, the the, the layout for the Happy Planner. I love the layout. Yeah, the three vertical correct boxes. So that's what I've been looking for, for each day. Correct. Yeah. And the Hobonichi comes close to it. The Hobonichi, yeah, the Hobonichi has a good format. It has like like a in the beginning has like a beginning pages has like vertical format for your days and then the other section has like one page per day right so it's perfect um yeah. so you know I, I couldn't make a decision i was being very indecisive which <laughs> i need to stop and i should have just ordered it but i knew this was going to happen i was taking a chance yeah so i'm going to keep looking and um, hopefully i'll come up with something soon because last time I waited too long, waited till like the end of December into January yeah. to make a, to, to find something. Um, but no, you can't wait till January. No, so yeah. I want to hurry up and secure something in the next week or two. Um, but that's what my focus has been trying to figure that out. And um, uh, but we to, are doing December daily. Yes, um, I ordered um, the 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 what you call it the felt album like uh oh yeah so the book we we're not going to traditional december Correct. daily um she had another option where you can buy this book um and then you it comes with a felted cover and then a stamp set and so me and my other two tracy and my other sister lisa we decided to use that format this year and see how it works out um it may bomb or it may be the best thing ever or yeah. it might be eh, yeah it's okay but um, either way, we're going to work with that and see where we end up. I forgot to tell you, I did order, um, um, Ali, Ali Edwards had that um, binder for the um, planner, the memory planner. It was on sale for like six bucks. And then the pages were like a dollar, a dollar, a dollar for the pad. But the shipping was costing more money. More money than the items. Yeah. So anyway, I still went ahead and got it. And I got a couple of more um, small items for December mm -hmm. daily. Mm -hmm. And um, so justify my shipping of 10 bucks so yeah why does shipping have to be that much oh my people? gosh so it's like some um i think it was some fundraiser at this at, is it ian's school i don't know some fundraiser and i'm checking out i'm ordering something and i'm checking out and i'm just like why is shipping so high so mom go to order from there um for the from the fundraiser yeah. and the shipping was too much i yeah. told her don't even do it I want to support him. Right? I know, but I felt bad. I didn't want to. I no, feel don't bad feel making bad. anybody don't pay do ten bucks for shipping. No, 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 no. But you should have told me. Then we could have ordered something yeah, together. Yeah, we could have yeah, split yeah. the shipping. Well, you should have known I would have support him. Why are you even oh. thinking? You didn't say anything, so I didn't think oh, you sorry. would just, have noticed. I'm just saying to go. So then I, I was supposed to follow up with you guys, and then I was like, you know what? Since the shipping is so exorbitant, I'm not even going to follow up with them because you I'm should. like, it's. Like, because then we could much. Have all ordered something and then have one shipping fee. Yeah, true. So, anyway, I mean, that's not, I'm supporting him no matter what. But my point is, it's like every way you turn, it's like the shipping fees are ludicrous. And I, I'm thinking, like, this thing from Ali Edwards, it can't be that big where it's costing no, that much. It's not big. So, and so, oh, and so people are saying, basically, get your Christmas shopping done like now. Because delivery and availability. Yes. Come November, December, it's just going to be very limited. And the postal service did say that how they're going to be slow with their delivery. I'm yeah. Like, wow. So I think we should get our New Jersey box together like, like very now. <laughs> send it in the first week of November. It's something so at least no later than the December. middle of November because it's yeah it's before Thanksgiving. Oh my gosh! Well, I got to get knitting quick then. Damn it! Well, the knitting things you can send after Christmas because Desiree is coming. <laughs> So she, she, you can send that work back with her. Yeah, okay. Yeah. But the the stuff. Mostly I would focus like the kids stuff. I would just okay. send. I would just try to send those. Well, or the other option is to send people money and have them. Well, that's the best thing. Let them buy them and stuff. Well, no, I was going to give the parents. The, do you think that's safe though? To give the parents the money so they can buy the gift for the kid to put yeah. on the tree? Yeah. Yeah. That's a good idea, though. And, and uh, everybody will shop local, right? Instead of inundating. That's a good idea, Trace. They won't take that money and use it on themselves, right? Well, no, I, I think if you tell them, right? 
Oh, I think if you, here's what you can do. Target and those places, you can order the stuff and then just have them pick it up from Target drive Thru at their location. There you go. That's so all they have to do is pull up. So we could do it early and do it that way instead of us mailing a box. Mm -hmm. yeah. Because honestly, I'm like, I don't want to, I like picking out stuff myself, but it's just like, you know, as these kids are getting older, it's different. It's getting harder uh, yeah, yeah. to buy, to figure out. Yeah. We only have one baby in the family now and it's like a toddler and it's just like, yeah, that's something I don't mind. Yeah. The toddler is easy. It's the yeah. bigger ones, right? Yeah. The yeah. preteens, the teens. Yeah. It's getting a bit hard to yeah. figure out. I keep telling them, I say, your time is coming to an end. <laughs> Your reign is almost over. Uh, because hmm. people are not going to give them what they really want, right? Because they're not going to know or whatever. Yeah. So, um, it's, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, that's all I have coming yes, up. Yes, us bantering. So, anyway. Anything? Yeah, it's a way for them to get to know us, yeah. I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, make it more personable. Yeah. So, but that's all I have going on. Okay, and we'll try to include links to these things. Um, someone left a comment saying, hey, can you guys put links? So I'll, I'll try to do that um, for going forward. But um, yeah, thanks for watching yeah, and thank subscribing you. and yeah. commenting. Keep them coming. Yes, we, we appreciate all the comments. And let us know if you plan to do any, um, if you're planning to buy, get a planner in for the new year 2021 and what you plan to use yeah we're nosy and maybe we're looking for <laughs> ideas, ideas ourselves yeah so, yeah. so help us please <laughs> sorry for the clanging my son is third breakfast yeah oh, he's, like, he's like a hobbit <laughs> he's a grown boy <laughs> when he was younger he really ate but now he's eating yeah so but anyway anyway thanks for watching Thank and you. we'll see you in november Bye. Bye.